this was the toasty toast. This one's still okay, but I'm gonna replace all of them. And we got those to replace, and then I'm gonna do the idler pulley, new idler pulley, and we got a new belt. So we're gonna be ready to go. That's what it looks like completely disassembled. <clears throat> Oh, this is symbol number five. And then I can show you how I put it all back together. So here, so here's the reassembly of the MDE 9700 type Samsung slash Whirlpool slash Maytag washer. So we have it completely apart. I figure I'm going to save a step and show you how to reassemble it. And that way you can reverse engineer and you don't need to watch the whole thing. So what I did is I, I bought a kit that had the four rear wheels. It had the belt and it had the new um, pulley. So what I'm going to do is reassemble it. What I did is I spent a good half an hour just, I had a compressor and I had a, uh, a couple different tools like this to clean out everything inside so I just kept blowing it out vacuuming there was so much uh, lint and junk in there so I just really got it all clean and now it's a matter of putting it back together so the bad wheel was this bottom one that's the typical one it takes a 17 millimeter socket and all you do is replace the nut. You keep the nut. The replacement units come with the, the stud. And then there's two washers, one on each side. Just remove it and tighten. If you need to hold this end with, with a uh, crescent wrench or something, that will help. And then just tighten it down really good. It spins freely. So this is the first piece that we're going to be putting back in. There are seven screws that go on the back of the unit to hold it back in. And then that's where the drum is going to be put back in against. There was just a little bit of finagling to get this little piece back in, which is the heater unit sending out, but it worked fine. So I, I recommend just raising this up right here and just getting this first screw set and then every other, keep it a little loose and then put all seven screws in and tighten them. I'm using a screw gun and like I said, I've got it set on like two or three and I'm just gonna go ahead and get it fairly tight and then I'm gonna do all the other seven. So it's a good thing I actually made a mistake. I took the screw back out. You can see there's two little tabs right here that what you have to do is lift this up and make sure that it sits on those tabs. And then everything should be pretty much lined up and ready to go. All right, so as you can see, there's two there. There's one, two, three there. And then two more there and I hand tightened them and they're all good. So now this is in place with the new rollers on and all this is cleaned out and it's hooked up to the heater vent <clears throat> and we're ready to put the drum in with, oh, with the, uh, the new belt. So as you can see, the belt has grooves on it and the grooves actually go around the grooves on the, the motor there. So then the belt comes around and goes underneath and now the rest of it, the drum's gonna fit in and I'm gonna put the belt over the drum and I'll need assistance to do that. Okay, a quick shout out to all those on YouTube who showed how to do this, but Basically grooves on the inside here both, if you can see that, they, it wraps around. Now you see no grooves, grooves, and then back out and the drum fits right in here, this whole area. If you, if you have to go, you put the drum in first and then you have it set up this way, 
you grab and then put loop it around here like that so you would take it like this pull it up and then pull it over all right okay we're at this stage now honestly the toughest part is getting this belt on the only way to do it really is to get the, the tub on have the belt loose go underneath and the way that I felt was to put it around the pulley first and then take your hand and put it around that little, you gotta get both hands in and put around that little small motor wheel. Then this front part fits on, obviously it has the wheels right here and it has these tabs right here and right here and right here and right here. So this unit fits with the tub in it. And now you know that the tub can spin. And then you put in the screws and then we're into the next step. Don't worry about the tub making a sound when it spins because it'll all get trued up when you, uh, when you get everything squared up, it won't make the noise. Don't forget to hook up the heater and uh, the temperature sensor. And then I, I left the three uh, screws in for the, uh, the vent, the uh, lint vent to put back on. For the lint vent, you push this up first and then it slides into the uh, motor housing whirly dude and then i'm going to put the three screws back in all right next i'm going to put this piece right here back on the front and then i will put the front piece on and the door on and everything else okay make sure that these tabs are in before you put the screws in and then put this back on. Okay, the, the door tabs are down there. There's actually three of them. There's one in the middle. And then hook this uh, back up. Close it up. And then there's four screws that you can see that are going to go back. Okay, so we've got the four screws in underneath this. Then I put the control panel back on. I fed the um, wire through. I'm going to hook this back into there. I'm going to put the four or five screws on top of there. And then I'm going to bolt this unit back up onto here. And then I will put the door on and the top should be ready to go. So the last, there were two screws, I forgot to mention, two screws back here to put the top back on. And then the door uh, has, there were these two screws here, which I had to replace that one, and then these, these two. So the door closes, and then there it is. It's working. No rolling thunder. Yay!